the economy and job market are picking up quickly. If you're a job seeker looking to advance your career, or if you're an entrepreneur looking to start or expand your business, brightpathsearch.com has the resources to assist you. For job seekers at any stage, brightpathsearch.com can perfect your resume and cover letter, help you prepare for your interview, and offer leads for networking. For entrepreneurs, brightpathsearch.com can help you get access to government contracts or even help you start your business. There's no need to go at it alone. For a free consultation for job seekers or small business services, email j at brightpathsearch.com or visit the website www.brightpathsearch.com. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra Kay of the Demetra Kay Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you can please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So on February 17th of this year, a black inmate by the name of Jaquari Simmons was found naked and beat to death in his cell in a Harris County Sheriff's um, Department. So he was originally taken there on February 10th for a weapons charge. And a couple of days later, he, this is, this is what they were saying, clogged his toilet and caused it to overflow. And so they went in there, beat him, you know, and all of that, took him out, cleaned the cell, and then they put him back in there naked. And then they also said when they went to deliver his dinner later on that night, that he accosted one of the officers with the uh, dinner tray, struck him in the head, and then the officer had to administer a blow, you know, uh, hit him in his face. And then they took him to the infirmary. Now, they said along the way to the infirmary that he has sustained a bunch of injuries and he had um, a busted lip and an injury above his left eye. Now, that took place during the Texas freeze. You guys remember that? And the power was out. And so they were going to do x-rays the next day or whenever the power came back on. They never got a chance to do that because when they went on uh, February 17th to look in on him after they delivered his breakfast, they found that he was unresponsive. And for lack of better words, he was dead. And so his family's lawyer, Lee Merritt, says that Jaquari was treated like a second class citizen and that they didn't do what they were supposed to do by him. They used excessive force and caused his death. Now, the sheriff, Ed Gonzalez, says yes. There was definitely um, some crimes committed and 11 officers, including a supervisor, was uh, fired and six others were suspended because they failed to uh, do a complete round or they didn't even document that they did rounds like they're supposed to go visit and make sure the, uh, the inmates are OK. So they didn't do a documentation of that and they uh, forgot to say that they beat the crap out of them, causing his death. And so. Uh, the sheriff there is in agreement that some criminal um, activity did take place with his officers. And so, you know, hopefully uh, they end up becoming inmates, not just losing their jobs, because, you know, we get tired of seeing officers lose their jobs and then they go and get another job somewhere else. And to the credit of Ed Gonzalez, the sheriff, he says, you know, he wants to make sure that those officers never wear a patch, uh, a sheriff's patch or police officer's patch again, that they're never able to work as officers again. And so hopefully that is the case. And they also get some charges filed against them and found guilty for um, murdering an inmate that um, they owed a duty of care to. So anyway, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show here on YouTube. Peace. to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.